Christopher, tell us about your three looks and how they represent your collection. I took my boyfriend's x-rays and my mother's x-rays, blew them up into fabric, which you see here and here. So this is my mother. I mean, I have to tell you, it's kind of good that you don't really know that it is that because that's a little creepy. And with the clutches, I took a mirror and I broke it and then covered it in a resin. So it was like deconstruction and reconstruction. People are superstitious about the mirror bones. If you said to someone, oh, she's wearing a dress that's made out of x-ray bones, it's dark. If you're gonna go that way, your styling has to go fully that way also. She's got pretty hair, pretty shoes, and it's about bones and cracked mirrors. But I did want a hard and soft, so. You know, I'm not saying you should send out, you know, zombie warriors. You've gotta make sure the volume is raised so you don't have this snooze here. And you know, your silhouettes here, they're beautifully done, but they're very normal. I see very little clothes here. You're going to be showing this to a massive audience. You have buyers that are coming to see these and possibly make an order. For you to show just a top and a pair of short shorts is quite a missed opportunity. Christopher, you cannot let this go down the runway. It's so boring. Today is a day where you have to show us where we're like, Yes, look at all this amazing stuff he did. He deserves to go to Fashion Week. It would have just been great to see some major, major pieces, like your hero piece. There is more. If we had seven more models here, I would be able to show you. So if you move forward from now until the big finale, you feel like you have more fashion? I have a lot more fashion. I do.